Hi Angry Nation, and um, today I will talk about the VROPS and the dashboard. And I show you how in the simple way create dashboard. So let's get to it. To build a dashboard, we need to go to visual um, tab and we click on the dashboards. And now we can click on create. As you can see, we have an empty canvas when we can build our dashboard. So first thing, let's name it. And now let's start build dashboard. I want to do some kind of workflow. So the first thing I want to do is to give a user option to choose an object uh, to monitor. So for that, I will use the object list widget. I just drag and drop uh, to the canvas. And as you can see now, there's a lot of information over here. All the objects available in the VROPS, but we want to customize. Um, we are building the Simply dashboard. And let's say we want to have dashboard only for VMs. To customize this widget, let's choose the pencil icon and click on it. And let's rename it. Please choose the VM. Now, refresh content on off. I will put on because I want that content to be refreshed every 300 seconds. It's five minutes. Self provider. Yes, this dashboard will provide the data. And now we go to input data. We want to see all objects. So we leave it as it is in output filter. Now we can define what do we want to see. So as I mentioned, we are going to choose virtual machine. So we go to object type. There you are. And now we're going to advanced options. So let's say we want to monitor all VMs which are powered on. So we click on a um, criteria and we are looking for a virtual machine. Now we can select properties and let's filter power, power state. is powered on. Now we have also additional columns, but we want we we don't want to add anything else. That's okay for us. We click on the save. And as you can see, that widget changed. Now it includes all the virtual machines in my small home environment. However, let's say I want to monitor just a group of virtual machines which are called test. Let's click on the pencil again. And again, let's go to advanced options. And instead properties, we choose the object name is, let's say not is because we don't want to be specific, we say contains and the word test. It's automatically show the name preview of the machines. Yes, I'm okay with that one. Click save. And there you are. I have two virtual machines. Now I can click on them, but as you can see, we don't see any data. So this widget on its own doesn't do anything which we can see. Now we need to add another widget and let's say it will be scoreboard. That widget is for KPIs. And again, if I click and change machines, nothing happens. The widget, the widget is blank. We have to do some customization. So let's click on the pencil again. And let's call VM KPIs. <laughs> do I want to? Uh, do I want the content to be refreshed? Yes. Leave the 
five minutes, but self provider, I would say no off because the data will be provided from my previous widget. Now, few options to choose from. Uh, do you want to run the symbols? I put zero, uh, columns, you can do three, four, whatever you want. Now, the teams. So, if you can see over here on the preview, we can choose the team. So, if we go for simple, we can go for different styles like this. Now, we can choose what we can see on that um, widget. So, you can see, we can add object name, we can add the spark line, and then once we choose a spark line, we can define the length on the data frame we want to see the data from. So, let's say last 30 days, and it will be like this. Please play with those settings, and, and you will choose whenever you feel right for yourself. Input transformation, it's a self, we don't change that one. Output data, this is the place, this is the tab which we are interested in. Here we can add the metrics. So let's click on the plus sign and let's say, I want to object type virtual machine and I want the metrics and let's say the CPU. So demand and click OK. And we have that metrics over here. If we click on the box label, we can name it CPU demand unit. We can leave as an auto or percentage color method. We have a few options to choose from non symptom or custom. If we use a symptom, the threshold like yellow, orange, red, the data, not the data, the value for that colors will be taken from the symptoms. But if you want to customize and let's say for the sake of this presentation, I will put very low value because my environment is not busy. So let's say um, yellow is 10, orange is 15 and red would be 20%. Let's click update. Let's add another metric maybe. So we have a CPU. So let's go for memory and usage. Let's say percentage and we can leave as a symptoms. So you can see that if we leave as a symptoms, I cannot change those values. And choose another one. Let's say physical death, a uh, total throughout. And And I say non update and we can save. Now, as you can see, again, that widget is empty and no matter what I do, <coughs> nothing show up. And as you remember, we have some data over here. So how to see those KPIs? We need to build relationship between those two widgets. And to do so, we have to click on the show interactions. And this is my please choose the VM that, uh, widget. And we are connecting that widget with my scoreboard widget. OK. And let's see once we refresh it. There you are. That's our data. And as you can see, the both VMs are very similar. Uh, this is the new VM built today, just 
for the purpose of this um, presentation. That's why there's no data. If you click on the virtual machine number one, you see uh, those spikes from the last 30 days. Uh, but this was built today. That's why it's just over here. There's no historical data. So maybe those two VMs are not the best example. Um, let's put all the VMs um, to that widget. So you go to advance. <clears throat> and again, let's do it for all the VMs which are powered on. Okay, and let's see something more busy. Uh, so, there you can see, that's changed, that's changed, that's also changed. So that's different VMs, different data. As you remember, the memory KPI is taken from symptoms. That's why it's very high. Let's lower that to see how the colors are changed. So we do the custom over here. And let's go 10, 20, 30. And as you can see, because it went over 30%, we see that as red. Yeah, 35, 5, it's okay, 91, Whoa. and we have yellow as well. So, as you can see, you can play with those KPIs, you can change them, uh, you can modify, just please play, add more um, metrics, delete some metrics, play with the percentage, and the custom is very easy and simple. Now, the next step, of course, we can save that dashboard and we have over here. What we can do with that dashboard is that we can share with other users. So if we click on the share button over here, there's a few options. We can share by URL, email, we can embed it, or we can export it. Let's say we want to send to our customer uh, who has an access um, that particular dashboard and we can choose the expiration, never expire, one day, one week, month and three months, copy that link, send them and then we have access to that dashboard and dashboard is live so every time um, the user will choose the VM, the data will be changed. Okay guys, that was everything for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Leave the comment down below. What more would you like to know about the dashboards? We can build more sophisticated dashboard. Um, just let me know what do, you, what do you want to see next. And don't forget to chat with me over the Twitter. My handle is at AngriSysops. And guys, thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye.